Hello YouTube friends, welcome to Maria's Miscellany and I'm stealing a line from Dear Julie Julie. I hope Julie you will not um, sue me for copyright. I'm going to say welcome to the messy desk. <laughs> Every time I hear Julie say that I laugh because I'm like oh yeah I have one of those. So I mean a few videos ago I showed you kind of uh, my organization of this area but you know it doesn't last <laughs> um it's somewhat organized believe it or not but anyway i just wanted to have a little play time it's actually 6 30 in the morning on saturday it is what the 19th today and um my husband just left for a men's conference um, my little boy is still sleeping so i thought it was a perfect opportunity to try to catch up on making some videos so hopefully I'll be able to record at least a couple, you know, that I've been wanting to do. But since my desk is already in this condition and last night what I was doing is I was um, cutting up some, some pictures from magazines. Um, I haven't done people too much. So when I find something that is like a whole person, um, it's kind of uh, calling my attention. So I kind of like this girl here sitting on something. I figured when I use this picture, I could put her sitting on whatever I want. <laughs> so I thought that was cool. And there's other things. I'm not going to show you everything I cut up. But um, what I've been doing for um, gluing in my glue book recently, and this is one of my glue books that I'm going to be working on today, um, is that um, this month of January, which we're more than halfway through, thank goodness, <laughs> I have challenged myself to not spend any money on craft supplies. So I ran out of glue sticks and I thought, well, that's, you know, kind of like, a, you know, an essential thing. But I'm like, you know what? I got plenty of glue. I'm not going to buy glue sticks. So what I have been doing is, excuse me for reaching. I have been just using up my Elmer's glue and, um, you know, this little bottle is even like the top is broken. So I've just been taking the top off and using a little brush to glue. Um, the other thing I've been doing, which is really funny because uh, somebody was talking about using a catalog or a phone book or something. And I thought, well, I don't get phone books anymore. And not too long after that, I got this Yellow Pages, which of course I don't need. So I've been using this to kind of just um, even, even do some cutting in it, like, you know, cutting stuff on it. Um, but I'm not going to do that anymore because it really cuts it up bad. But that's okay. Um, I'm using it to glue on. So last night before going to bed, I had started this little spread. This is, let me show you what I cut up yesterday. Okay. And this is what was already on here from me playing in it before. Okay, and this was from a, a catalog, one of those, um, yeah, home stuff catalogs or ads that you get in the mail. Th this too, this is a little piece of leftover uh, scrapbooking paper. And these are from magazine, from a magazine. That's from a children's book. Those flowers. Oh, I'm gonna move this down a little bit more. Okay, there we go. And, of course, my lozenge from, uh, apparently this day I was, you know, <laughs> coughing. All right, this is a little sticker that came in a Happy Mail envelope, and it's coming up. So I'm going to just uh, glue it down. And for something little like this, I'm just doing this. And, yes, I get glue all over my fingers. So another thing I have handy is some wipes around here somewhere. Okay, but then for stuff like this, this I cut up of, um, I think it was a Southern Living magazine. I get all these magazines, and I'm really trying to um, turn my subscri or end my subscriptions because I don't, I mean, it's nice to have them to cut up, but I mean, I don't want to pay to just have magazines to cut up. So anyways, this is what I do, and I, I know I saw this. I wish I could give credit to the right person, but I'm sure it's more than one person who does this where you use the catalog or the phone book or whatever so that you can brush your glue all the way to the edge or with your glue stick, you know, whatever. So that uh, when you put it in your book, it really glues all the way. So this is from an ad. And the other thing I do is 
Where is it? I have a whole bunch of, um, here it is, little cards. And this is a nice, really stiff one. So I like to use that to kind of just make sure that it's all glued in. And I plan to cover this thing in the middle, but for now, I just glued the whole thing together. And this was from another piece. So I'm saying you can lighten up in 2019 because 2018, especially the end of it, was a very stressful year for me. And I think I need to lighten up. So I'm telling me, I'm telling myself that I can lighten up. And this playing in these glue books and things is actually part of that. So that, yay. And then I just thought that this was, oh, what's that saying? Cute. A little married couple there. So, so see, now that I've got glue all over this, I just turned the page and I've got uh, clean paper. And then I can just glue this one. And if the papers get glued together, doesn't matter because you know it's a throwaway book ah <laughs> of course that can happen <laughs> okay so the important thing here is that I'm getting the glue all the way to the edges and I want to glue these guys over here in the corner Let's see. It's kind of covering the heart, but that's okay. I can still see it. I just really wanted them in the corner. There. And that's how I work in my glue book. Now, like I said, I know I want to put something in there, but it doesn't have to be now. Or it can be. Let me see. Up here, I could cut up some flowers from the same magazine. Let me see. Maybe something fits in there. No. Oh, maybe this one, if I cut it around. Yeah, you know what? If I cut that flower, just a flower, it might fit right in there. So let me do that really quick. And I'm sorry I keep reaching in front of you there. But okay, so I'm just going to. And I'm not like the best at fussy cutting. I just, I, I, you know, I usually do it with a little space around it. And I heard somebody say, who was it? I think Gail Agostinelli mentioned that somebody else mentioned that, you know, if you leave a little edge around your image, then you can like ink it and distress it. And then it kind of like disguises it. I'm actually doing a pretty good job with this one, <laughs> uh, but I'm not even going to do that. I, I was just kind of leave a little edge around it anyway. Let's see if that worked. Oh, check it out. I covered up all the words. Okay, so open up my thing. I left my brush in here somewhere. <laughs> I trapped my brush. Okay, here it is. It was like trapped in between the pages. All right, this is a clean page. Okay, that is for sure. So, all right. Again, glue all the way to the edge. Okay, and cover this thing. Which way did I want it? This way? Yeah, this is the way. Cover up the words. There we go. I'd like to smooth it out with this thing. Yeah, what do you think? All the way to the edge. Yep. All righty. Another thing I did last night while we were watching a TV show is try to organize my um, images because I never did that. Um, I keep them in this, not, I have another whole box. Actually, I keep them all over the place, <laughs> but this is one of the neat, neater areas. Okay, so let me take these people off. So this is like a pastry box. Maybe I can get further up here so you can see better. A little further up okay see it was a pastry box that I just um, you know cleaned up after we used it 
I think there's like a coffee cake or something in here. And I really like that because it's all clear, you know, clear all around. I can kind of really see what's in here by looking around. And um, it's sturdy enough, you know, it's kind of a little bit flimsy, but sturdy enough because I'm just going to pack it up with images. So I had tons of stuff just thrown in here. Last night I'd actually separated it into like, you know, the flowers and botanicals. And these are all Tim Holtz images. These um, I picked up in a kit, in a journal kit that um, I did an unboxing a long time ago for it. And this stuff came in there, that little ephemera. Other than that kit, this is the only other Tim Holtz uh, like ephemera that I've purchased is the paper dolls because I've seen people using these so much. And look at that, I have hardly used them. I really, um, I want to start using them more. I don't really get how to use I mean I do I just you know have to remember to use them okay then these images in this bag are like um more serious images most of these if not all of these come from like reader's digest books that I've taken pages out of probably the one reader's digest books that I take a page out of and they're kind of like more like I said serious adult people doing you know adult things <laughs> Uh, I mean, nothing, you know, X-rated or anything, just, you know, uh, grown-up pictures. This, um, apparently I had, like, just torn bits of paper in there, so I just put them all in there. And mostly text, but there's a little bit of images, too. This one is for birds, and I didn't have that many birds, apparently. I know I have more somewhere else, but um, th these are all the ones I could find. So I'm going to make it a goal to try to cut up more birds. Then these were other animals. I guess that's a bird. Yes, one is a bird. Let me put him with the birds because the birds are a little lonely. But these are other animals. And oh, this is a nice one. It's a, from like a children's book that was had sturdy pages. So let me put my bird in here. And other animals. And these were kind of miscellaneous pictures. Got some religious ones in there. Maybe I should put another section for religious ones because I'm starting to accumulate those. <laughs> but for right now, that's miscellaneous. These are words, all different kinds of words. And from the dictionary, little pieces. I actually had cut up images from the dictionary that I th thought would work for steampunk because I had a steampunk ATC challenge from a Facebook group not too long ago. And oh, I should have made a video about those cards. I didn't. I apologize. And then these are people. This is my people bag. And um, it's just these. I love football. My husband has gotten me into football because I refused to be a football widow. So, you know, if you can't beat them, join them. <laughs> so um, I cut these up from the Sports Illustrated. Just some different football players in cool poses. And... Um, I'll go through my glue book real quick too and I'll show you. I've actually used one or two in there. And then these ladies, I just thought they were kind of nice, professional looking. Um, so I cut them up. And then last night I cut these up. Now some of these are a little bit too big to fit in here, but um, I'm going to go ahead and yeah, they'll kind of fit. So excuse me while I put my people in here. I don't think I'm going to use these right this second. This was a uh, Sally Hansen that really got a kick out of this. She's showing, she's showing her nails, but I just love all that color there. And I already talked about her. I don't know if she'll fit again, but we'll see. All right. <laughs> all righty. Okay. I think, yeah, it'll be fine. Okay. And then the rest in here that is loose are images that I cut off of uh, children's books. Now, um, I have, um, when I, my very first step into paper crafting was actually just cutting up images that I liked out of children's books and literally just slapping them onto a card base and voila, you have kind of like a homemade card. And I didn't even embellish them that much or anything because I just thought, gee, these pictures are so pretty. They really don't need a lot of embellishing. So these are some of the bigger ones that I didn't use yet because I didn't have a larger card base. But most of these come from this one Dick and Jane style book 
that I got. I love these with the uh, old bathing suits. There are some with the parents too, but I think I made some cards out of those. And uh, so, yeah, that's what the rest of it is. Different children's books. A lot of those, a lot of them from that one children's book. But others too. Um, so, that's what's left in here. Most of that is children's book pages. Okay, and then the baggies are my other organized images. Okay. And that's how I'm trying to keep them organized. Now, obviously, it's already outgrowing this bag or this little box. Uh, but I already have another box, actually, that I have some book pages in. Let me just, while I'm talking to you, put these in here. Um, yeah, there's another shoe box that I'll show you real quick. Why not? This video is a little bit random. Um, I thought it might be a little glue book play, but... Of course, now I got to talking and it's turning into something else. Hope you don't mind. And you know what? This one is too big to put in there. Again, it's from that Southern Living magazine. But I just like it as a background. So I'm actually going to stick that in my glue book right now too. Okay. So there's that somewhat organized box of um, cut up images. And I might bump the camera a little bit because the other box here is under me and uh, needs to be organized too. Uh, excuse me. All right. So this is the other box that I had some images in, but it actually has other stuff in it too. Let me see. Maybe I need to go further up. <laughs> I need to get further away from the table there so you can see. All right. Can you see? Now I have to stretch. Okay. Yeah, so this is a nice big shoe box that I picked up from the Resource Depot. Very sturdy, so I just put washi tape around it to decorate it, and this piece of wallpaper, which I love, and I have a roll of it, and it's just so pretty, and the image actually extends more, but obviously this is all that fit up here, so I really like this box, it's very sturdy, and I had a whole bunch of these images in there, but you know, I, I, like I said, I cleaned up, but then there's other things in here that I want to cut up, so from this uh, pattern, uh, old pattern. I want to cut up those lovely ladies in there. And then, of course, I'll have the actual pattern and instructions to use as well in crafting. Um, because, uh, yeah, I'm not a size 10. <laughs> I'm not going to use this, even though that's a pretty dress. Uh, but see how beat up this pattern paper is? Look, it's got holes and everything. So I want to just get the images out of that and... Uh, use that well okay and then this I picked up sometime look I paid 69 cents for it sometime they're actually already cut up uh, fabric pieces of fabric so that you can make uh, look it even has a little tag you know just uh, applique onto well here it has a sweater but you know you can applique onto anything and it looks like it, this is an older thing I know the rag shop hasn't been here in a while. Let's see if there's a date on here. No, but this has got to be maybe at least the 80s. Yeah, or maybe 90s. Okay. This is actually a, a pattern that I made out of um, just regular uh, packaging paper. And so I left some of the bigger pages in here because this page, I hadn't decided if I want to use this image or this image. So until I decide, it's just in here. Another pattern I want to cut, I wanted to cut out the girls. These patterns in here is because I wanted to cut off the girls. Some more just random things. I didn't want to mess with going in here, but I know these are the things that I've cut out of other things uh, from my classroom uh, when I was teaching. And more just larger random things in here. And at the bottom are like book pages that are complete and probably a mixture of text and uh, images okay and then on this tucked in on the side over here is some smaller things uh, like calendar pages I had this uh, coloring calendar this last uh, 2018 so of course I have to keep the pages who can throw that out <laughs> even though I didn't color them all and then these I had picked up for a quarter at the Dollar General these little cards with cupcakes in them. Aren't they cute? So, where's the 
How does it open? I know it opens. Yeah. And all these cupcake cards and uh, with the envelope I got for 25 cents for the whole pack. It was cool. Haven't used any yet, but those are really cute. And like this is the cover from an old book that I took all the images out of inside already. But I love the book cover, so that might turn into a little journal as well. A little notepad. And another little baggie with kind of like random little pieces of colorful paper. Actually, I think I'll put this in here because um, I could use that. And a couple little notebooks. These are from the Dollar Tree. I just put some stickers on there. But yeah, I haven't really done much else with it. So that's what's in this box. And like I said, a lot of these images were in here all mixed up. And I cleaned that up last night. That's why I still have this box here. Normally it would be in my garage because that's where I keep like my tremendous overflow of stuff that I have built up. Okay. All right. So let me bring this closer. Again. I'm going to do this one more page. This one more page because I want to glue this in, in this book. And then um, I will do a flip through of what I have done in this glue book so far. And then I think I'll cut the video short because it's already like 20 something minutes. And um, and then I'll record another one where I've been wanting to do this for a while where I share with you all of the journals that I've made so far. Sorry. Drax, stop. Oh my gosh, that's my dog attacking the glass door because there's probably a cat out there. Draxy, Drax, Drax. Come here, baby. Come here. It's okay. It's okay. I know you're protecting the house. It's okay, though. Don't break my door. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Sorry about that. Okay. So let me um, glue this in. And um, so this glue book, if you, I, I did a, when I first made it, I, I did a video about it, but I love it. Um, I made it out of um, an old Audubon book, so it's just the cover. And then inside is mostly Atlas pages and um, coffee dyed, just regular paper. So I have already worked in it a lot. But I'm looking for a black. Ah, perfect. I'm just going to use this. So I am just going to put this. Let's see if I want to. I think I want to cover mainly the blank space. And you know what? I think maybe I'll just take this off and I can use it somewhere else. Because 